This video is how to get ripped 101. Now I'm in a Walmart of all places, but you can be in a Walmart and you can choose wise options. So let me show you what I do. So first of all, ready-made protein snacks, plenty of them. Always be prepared for what you want. Now you see this is the outer edge of a store, including here. This is the part of the outer edge. Now the outer edge of the store <clears throat> always has real food. So <clears throat> let's just take a walk, a look around and see. <clears throat> so you get your meats here. And I like meats. These aren't really organic grass fed. I do prefer to get organic gas fed, um, organic grass fed for myself. But in a pinch, if I need some protein, like especially some organic eggs, they have it here. Um, they also have, you know, some of the yogurt that I love a lot. I'll show you that. And let's come over here and show you what I like to do. I eat pretty much the same thing every day, and it's been helping me. See, if you eat the same thing at the same time every day, what it does is it programs your body to want to eat that thing so that you crave only that thing, and that's important. So I get this right here. This is the triple zero vanilla, and it has 22 grams of protein, zero artificial sweeteners, no added sugar. I get that. And now speaking of real food, just kidding, I don't drink much beer. A couple, a couple beers a month maybe. Maybe a little more than that. But anyway, here we go. We got organic grass-fed eggs. So, these right here. Let's make sure they're good. Okay. Now, what I like about eggs, and I'm going to grab two of them, is that if you, studies have proven, if you eat three whole eggs a day, not just egg whites, but if you eat the whole egg every day, your strength significantly increases. I don't have that exact study, but I'll see if I can pull it up for you. But I know from a fact that when I do it, I feel like my strength goes up tremendously. So, this isn't a grocery store, this is actually a super Walmart. So we can't walk the outer edge of the store, but they still set it up the same way in terms of the groceries that the outer edge has all of the real food. You had the vegetables around the edge and the fruits, and then you had the meats and proteins. Now look at all the middle stuff. This is where most of your disease is purchased. Most of your boxed foods that have processed chemicals and, you know, sugars, things that will make you um, addicted and they will make you obese. That's uh, most of the foods that are predominantly in the middle of a grocery section. So, in reality, when I tell people, and they say, what, do you, what should I eat? I said, just make sure like 80% of your food, here we're back to the outer edge again, comes from the outer edge. Now look, what do you see on the outer edge? You'll always see this in a grocery store, because this is how they do it. They want you to be in the middle part of the store, because that's where you purchase all of your um, high-end profit foods for them. So... From a business standpoint, that's good for them. That's profit. But from my standpoint, I like to shop. Again, here's the outer edge. We just walked all the way around the perimeter and I've already got plenty of fruits and vegetables at home. Otherwise, I'd be picking up a lot of stuff from this section. But as you can see, I did all my shopping from the outer edge. So that's what I do. I focus on protein primarily, getting my protein needs met for the day. And then the rest of it has to do for energy and um, keeping up with feeling good so I just put in those foods that are necessary and that's all there is to it.